Hello. Thank you for joining my second video. Check, turn it into my second video. Um, I am doing Black Eyed Peas today, as you saw earlier. They're coming along very nicely. Um, let me let you take a look at them. So look at that. Mm. Woo. Smelling good, looking good. That bacon and um, onions and that butter. I seasoned them real good with seasoned salt and some pepper and everything. And they're just doing their little thing, just boiling real gently. And just let them cook for another probably couple of hours or so. Um, hopefully you could see that. I don't know if the steam messed it up where you couldn't see it. But anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how, what I'm making with it. What I'm making with it is I'm going to do some uh, Swedish meatballs, um, which is like meatballs with gravy on them and some sour cream and stuff. Mm, so good. Um, and then I'm going to do some cornbread. So I already have my black eyed peas cooking. Like I said, you just saw them. Um, so um, I'm now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make my Swedish meatballs. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm on my on my second break at my job, so I'm whipping this up over my second break. That's how bad I am. Bad isn't good, not bad isn't bad. So, so let me grab a knife. Go ahead and open up. <clears throat> and I've been battling uh, allergies, and so I've just been having just my, so excuse my 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 voice. I can talk better than I could but it's still really scratchy and stuff. So excuse my voice, but you can still understand everything I'm saying. So anyway, I got, let me turn this camera around so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so, so I've got my ground beef. I got me a pound of ground beef. So I just take that, open it up, put that into my bowl, drop that down into my bowl. Put it over here so you can see it a little bit better. Just drop my ground beef down into my bowl. Put that over here. Then I go ahead and take me some onion. Now this is what I do with my onion, how I do my onion. I grate my onion up into, I grate it up into my uh, ground beef. Um, that way it's like little bitty pieces and it doesn't overpower. And it's not like these big chunks of onion that you're biting into when you, when you bite into a meatball. So I take it and I take my little grater. Let me get that. I'll take my grater out. So I'm just gonna you're just gonna watch me grate up half of this onion into this ground beef. So I'm just gonna grate it up right into the right into the bowl. And I do the, the big part of the uh, the big end of the grater. So just grate it up. And yeah, my eyes are burning. So it does make your eyes burn because all that juice just pops and drops everywhere. I just grate about half of this onion. I love my, I love me some onion. You'll see a lot of onion in my cooking because I love onion. So just don't let it go everywhere. So then I just take it and kind of knock it off into there. So look at that. So you got you some onions, grated up onions. Okay, so I'll put that in there. Then I go ahead and add one onion. I mean, egg. So, looks like I might have to do some editing to this video. <laughs> Add another egg. So I put two eggs in there. Okay. Let's see here. Go ahead, add me a little bit of sour cream. About a tablespoon of sour cream. That's just gonna add a little bit of richness to it. We're gonna go ahead and season it up. Just a little bit of salt. Not that much, just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it, because you can always add salt later. And I got me some crushed red pepper. Put that in there. I don't really like the black pepper in it. I prefer the crushed red pepper in my meatballs. Then I do a little onion powder, because like I said, I love onion. So add me a little bit of onion powder to it. Just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon or so of it. Then I grab me a slice of bread. So I just usually just put bread in it. I usually will soak the bread in meat and uh, milk, but I don't have milk. So I wasn't able to do that today. So I'm just going to take the bread and just kind of put it into little bitty pieces. Uh, sometimes um, breadcrumbs work better, but I didn't have any breadcrumbs, so I wasn't able to do that. 
So you just take this and just kind of swoosh it all together in the bowl. In the bowl. And that, that bread is going to get incorporated. I mean, it would seem kind of weird to just put chunks of bread in here, but that bread is going to incorporate into these meatballs and it'll be just fine. So you just kind of swoosh it together, swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. It's a messy job, but somebody got to do it. <laughs> so just swoosh it together and you're going to make you some nice might need another slice of bread. It just depends. I'll see once I get this smushed in really good. Looking pretty good here. Alrighty. So I'm going to get my hands washed. So basically that's just it. That's what you do. Um, if you want to use breadcrumbs, you can do that. It's a lot easier and a lot less messy to do it that way. So you could just use breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs, or either just regular Italian style breadcrumbs, dry breadcrumbs, whatever. Just put that in there and um, add that to it, swish it up. But I'm about to make these into little meatballs and pop them in the oven, uh, 350 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes. And they'll be good to go. Then I'm gonna put some gravy on them, so. All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.